Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is scientism. Now, scientism is a pejorative or insulting term for the position that natural science is the only method of discerning truth in any field. Scientism can be viewed as an extreme version of scientific realism. While scientific realism claims very broadly that science is able to provide truth or knowledge about the world, scientism claims that science is the only method to gain knowledge about the world. If you're curious about scientific realism, check out my video on that. Because scientism is generally used as an insult, not really a specific position, and there aren't that many people that really defend it, there are a range of other viewpoints that are often called scientism, including the view that science is more important than the arts or the humanities, or the position that the arts or humanities should adopt the scientific method. In this video, we're just going to focus on the view that science is the only way to gain knowledge, because the other ones are difficult to assess. Very few, if anyone, actively identifies with scientism. However, many are accused of it, particularly the logical positivists. The positivists were accused of attempting to transform philosophy into science and limiting philosophy to solely the study of logic and analytical truths, as, according to many positivists, all empirical truths could be determined by science. Now, objections to scientism broadly fit into two categories, those from the scientific realist position, who think that science can provide truth about many things, but not all things, and those who object to the scientific realism as well, claiming that science is not the kind of thing that discovers objective knowledge at all. And we'll take a quick look at each. First, most scientific realists would not identify as followers of scientism. Rather, they would say that science can provide us with true knowledge about some, but not all things in the world. Examples of concepts that science cannot study include things like ethics and justice. You can't get an ought from an is, and science studies inherently what is. But also things like art and beauty. Whether or not something is beautiful is difficult to transform into a scientific formula. And art often defies convention and defies the rules that science might set aside for it, as well as defending the scientific method itself. The claim, all truth must be justified by the scientific method, cannot itself be justified by the scientific method. The proponent of scientism is committed to the claim that scientific experiments can either prove normative statements and prove the scientific method itself, which is problematically a circular claim, or that such claims are nonsense, which is particularly problematic if you think everything can be proven using the scientific method, but you also think the scientific method is nonsense. But there are many other reasons that one might object to even this basic realist position about science, and therefore to scientism as well. You might agree with Thomas Kuhn, who's largely credited as being one of the destroyers of logical positivism, that scientific claims can only be true in a paradigm, and that today's scientific truths may be discarded in tomorrow's paradigm. Check out our videos on Thomas Kuhn's theory of paradigm shift for more on that. Or you might simply agree with Hume, that induction cannot prove claims to be deductively true. If you doubt that any scientific claims can be objective knowledge, then you're likely to doubt that our only knowledge is scientific knowledge, unless you're a skeptic and thinks that it's vacuously true. What do you think? Is science the only method that can give us knowledge? Or are there some questions that only philosophy or art or the humanities can answer? Can science even really provide objective knowledge at all, or only knowledge within a particular paradigm? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you liked this video and you want to see more like it. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.